Hey everyone, good to see you. Um, if it's your first time here, my name's Chris uh, from Zero Fox 3D. Uh, quick backstory: uh, a couple of years ago, I designed this uh, bender, uh, my case for the Heltec V3 uh, Laura radio board. Uh, it escaped onto the internet, went a bit viral, um, and I shipped 4,000 of them all over the world. So yeah, crazy two years. Uh, but now there's a um, there's a Heltec V4. Uh, and people have been harassing me. Uh, when am I going to update Bender for the Helltech V4? Um, and I've now got something to show you. So I, I could have just given you this. I could have just given you Bender updated for the V4, but you know that would have been a bit lazy. So I went down a rabbit hole, and uh, that led me to this point, which is Bender 2, also known as Project Fatbot. Uh, and trust me, that wasn't the worst code name that I gave it uh, as well. Uh, so we have a completely new construction. Uh, we have a new power switch design. We have support for the Heltec GPS module. Uh, we have three different antenna positions. Um, we have finally a secure battery cover. So no more, no more battery cover that just pops off easily. Um, I'll, I'll show you the construction in a second. Uh, and we have support for the Heltec V3, uh, the V4, uh, and the T114. Um, and of course, you may have noticed, we now support both single cell and four cell 18650 batteries. So huge, huge leap uh, in battery power. So the new design is basically a culmination of feedback uh, from users over the two years and the original Bender, uh, although a great little design, um, did have a couple of little quibbles, shall we say. So the uh, the front button uh, pressed onto the power switch, which wasn't ideal because it could come loose over time. It was a little bit fiddly. And I did see some people manage to glue it on backwards. I don't know how you do that. Um, and then the, the back cover, of course, clipped on. And over time, those clips uh, could wear, which was not ideal. So the big change in the new design is the body is now split into two halves. Now, the, the eagle-eyed among you will notice that this is actually an early prototype that only had one antenna point, but you know, let's, let's pretend we didn't notice that. So um, it's actually, the two halves are actually um, secured together uh, with hex bolts on either side that go into square nuts on the inside, which is similar to the uh, construction of Nibbler. Um, but you'll see, so the back is actually part of the body now, so completely secure. Uh, these little side clamps are also going to have a future use as well, which I'm not going to reveal now. Uh, so basically, you just you just whip out the hex nuts, and then the two halves come apart. Inside, we've got a slot for the Heltec GPS module that you can buy with the T114 or the V4, uh, and then. The big one, which I'm most proud of, uh, obviously this is just, just, just a prototype part, uh, but this is the new switch design, uh, which is basically the, the button is now captive. It's actually inside, um, inside the front cover. And it clicks really nicely uh, and it's super secure, held in place uh, with these two little eight millimeter screws. Um, but yeah, this, um, this took a lot of work to, 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 to get right. Now at this point I was on a bit of a roll and I wondered, could I update Nibbler and squeeze this power switch into it and the Heltec V4? Um, now it was a bit of a miracle, but here we have it. We have a power switch in Nibbler, um, which was its only real weakness. So I think now Nibbler is now effectively the smallest case for the Heltec V3, V4, uh, T114 um, that has clip, um, and as a power switch. Um, I don't think any other um, case this small has a power switch, so quite proud of that. So that's Bender 2 and Nibbler 2. Uh, they'll be available for pre-order on the website. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, they should be shipping within a couple of weeks, uh, and if you're in the USA, I even pay Donald's tariffs for you. Um, but thank you for watching. Thank you for all your continued support. Uh, means the world. Um, and I encourage you to try MeshCore. It's really blown up uh, in the last few months. 
massive mesh in the UK, uh, networks popping up all over the states as well. Uh, who knows, I might even see you on there.